Someone is madly in love, but there is a problem. Someone is madly in love, but there is a problem. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Papa San Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorin. I have a prophetic word for somebody. Someone is madly in love, but this is the problem. And this word is coming to us from Judges chapter 16, from verse 4 to verse 6. I read from the Amplified Bible version. It says, after this, he loved, he referring to Samson, loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the Lord of the Philistines came to her and said to her, entice him and see in what his great, and see in what his great strength lies and by what means we may overpower him that we may bind him to subdue him and we will each give you 1100 pieces of silver and delilah said to samson tell me i pray you wherein your great strength lies and with what you might be bound to subdue you hallelujah this scripture right here is where this prophetic word is coming from two main things god says someone is madly in love but there are two but this is a problem the problem is actually these two main points the first is that the love is not reciprocal the bible says after this samson fell in love with delilah the bible never said delilah loved him back the Bible never said Delilah loved him back. That right there was the first problem. The love was genuine, but it was one-sided. He loved her so much, but she never loved him back. Beware of people who don't love you back there with you for any reason. But love. No matter that sometimes I've had to counsel people and you are telling someone this is not the relationship for you and they are telling you but I love this person so much. The thing is if this person doesn't love you and you are the only one who loves them, there is a problem. It's not going to end well. If the love is one-sided, the love has got to be reciprocal. If it's one-sided, there is a problem. The second thing that is wrong with this love even though it's genuine is that the lady in question loves money more than she loves the man that loves her she loves money the moment she was offered money she could give off the man without even thinking twice so she loved money more than she loved the man be careful when the person you are with can do anything for money. When they love what you have to offer them more than what, more than who you are. When they love what you have more than you who you are, it's a sure sign, it's a sure prophecy that they are not going to last with you. In case there is a difficulty or a challenging season, they are going to leave you. If they see a better alternative, they will leave you without blinking. If they see another possibility that can give them more, they will leave you without blinking. If, a, if they see a breakthrough, they will leave you without blinking. Whoever values money more than you can be bought at any time. And then the third thing, did I say two, two main problems? No, there were three. The third problem in this love, no matter how genuine it is, is that this lady is closely related to the enemy such that the enemy she has access to the enemy the enemy can talk to her the enemy has access to her what are you doing delilah talking to the philistines you know that the man that loves you has spent his whole time as a matter of fact samson's mandate was to destroy the philistines the philistines were his enemies from birth 
He came to destroy the Philistines. He was born to destroy the Philistines. And then the woman he loves has a relationship. Be careful when the person that is close to you, that you love, has a connection with your enemies. They are going to use them to destroy you. If the person you love is relating with your enemies, know that you are in love with your enemy. Know that you just love to your enemy. Know that the person you are in love with will kill you without blinking. Because the enemy has no access to you. The enemy will not be able to access you except they pass through someone that is close to you. The Bible says what kills a man does not come from a fight. It comes from under the bed. The enemy will not access you. Unless the enemy passes through someone who is close to you. So your real enemy is not the person who is out there and who has made it known that they hate you. Your real enemy is the one that you love and you have them close to you. But behind your back, they are killing you. Behind your back, they hate you. Behind your back, they can betray you. The Pharisees could never have gotten to Jesus if they didn't pass through Judas. They needed an insider to be able to give up Jesus. And that's exactly the kind of thing Delilah did. The most dangerous enemy is the one that is close to you and the one that you trust and love. The most dangerous enemy is the one that you trust and love. The person that you already know hates you and is an enemy can hardly poison you because you will not eat anything from their hands. But they can easily give you anything through the person that is close to you, through the person that you, that, that you trust. The real enemy that you know is an enemy will hardly be able to stab you in the back because you don't embrace them. But Judas is going to betray you with a, with a kiss. Which other way, which other better way to stab in the back? I don't know who this word is for. But God is saying be careful that you are madly in love with this person doesn't mean everything is right. You can be madly in love and the person is still wrong for you. Be careful when people accept a relationship and they don't love you back. Or they value money more than you. When the person you love can be bought at a price, you are in love with the enemy. And it's just a matter of time. I hope this word reaches the right person at the right time. And if this word blessed you, then you and you feel led to drop an offering or sow a seed, Please just check in the description box. You see the cash up and the PayPal there. Or you can just hit on that super thanks. And you're still good to go. And if this is your first time stumbling on my video, please do subscribe and don't forget that notification bell. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.